Have you ever been asked to give a speech, whether at work, at school, or for some personal event, and felt that daunting fear come over you? Many people fear public speaking more than they fear death, and I can really empathize with that as I was recently asked to give a talk, and I sat down and realized I had no idea how to structure this speech, how to engage the audience, and how to create slides. I felt pretty overwhelmed, and that's when I decided to try something different. I remember I remembered hearing about how Steve Jobs was really the master presenter and how his storytelling ability and his ability to get uh, emotions going for his audience were unparalleled. But what is the best way to actually do that? Well, in this video, I'm going to share with you a comprehensive step-by-step -step process to do just that. And by the end of the video, you'll have a framework to leverage AI and Steve Jobs' techniques to craft a speech that will captivate your audience and leave a lasting impression. Steve Jobs really was the undisputed master known for simplicity and clarity, his ability to distill complex ideas into understandable concepts and create emotional connections through storytelling. He really captivated audiences with dramatic reveals and commanded showmanship and stage presence along with humor. Today we're going to go through a few different steps here. I just want to outline these before we dive in. The rule of threes is a very powerful way to structure your speeches in any talk you're getting. Then we're going to look at enhancing that structure, different audience connection points to ensure that what you're creating is in lockstep with where your audience might be, which can be very challenging. We're going to get into outline creation, slide preparation, speech rehearsal, and all the amazing ways that AI can critique your speech rehearsal. We're going to add depth then after the rehearsal. We're going to practice for worst case scenarios. So even if the projector breaks and and the screen falls down, you can still keep going and are prepared for anything. We're going to look at the final rehearsal and then a bunch of other prompts for how to Steve Jobsify everything that you're creating. So each one of these steps, I have a bunch of AI prompts and processes to go through. In addition to all of these steps, at the end of the video, I'm going to show you how to create some custom GPTs and demo a couple custom GPTs that I've created that allow me to quickly and easily generate awesome outlines and then improve on those outlines by Steve Jobsifying them. So stay tuned to the end of the video for that. Kicking it off with the rule of threes. So your brain can easily handle three main points. If you get outside of three, four maybe, when you get into five, six, seven, eight, nine, your brain just starts to freeze up and it doesn't remember any of it. So when you are preparing your speech, think about nesting things in these rules of three. So three main talking points, each one of those talking points having three main subsections and each subsection having three supporting factors for each. And if you think of it this way, this will easily get you, I think, to a 30 to 45 minute speech. If you're going along Longer than that, um, you know, you may need to look at some other ideas for your uh, format, but I think even then you can build this out. And this is just a loose starting place. Not every speech is going to follow this. You don't need to follow it like a rule, but it can sure help to get started. Just thinking of what are the three main items I want my audience to know or problems I'm going to help them solve. What are some of the sub points for each of those? And then for each sub point, what are some supporting factors? So now let's dive into the cheat sheet here. As you may know, I create cheat sheets for each one of my videos. These cheat sheets contain all of the prompts we're going to go through. All of the cheat sheets are immediately accessible to anybody who joins my Patreon program. So these are all available for my Patreon subscribers and there are almost 80 in there now and more coming each week. So let's start here. Uh, we've gone over the rule of threes. Now understanding your audience. So I think before we do anything, we want to really know where our audience is with whatever topic we want to cover. So we're starting off in the right direction. This I think is a killer prompt for that. What are three main problems that X audience faces with X subject matter? So let me demo this for you. 
I'm gonna use ChatGPT 4.0, the newest model here for a lot of this. I will definitely be using some Claude and maybe some Gemini. I'm still a little bit torn whether GPT 4.0 or Gemini are the strongest large language models. I tend to use both of them for different purposes. Let's see what this one brings. So I've modified this prompt to say, what are three main problems that marketing agency owners struggle with to adopt AI in their agencies? Fantastic. So we are now starting out with an audience-focused initial look at the problems that your audience is facing. There are a bunch more prompts for that. I'm not going to demo all the prompts. There's at least 10 times as many prompts in this cheat sheet as I'm going to be showing you. But I'm going to scroll slowly so you can take screen grabs of these and try all of these out. I'm moving on with this constructing an outline and not just any outline, but I really like this problem solution action framework. So starting with their problems as we have, then introducing the solution before we're telling them what to do. A lot of people jump straight to here's what to do. They think that's going to be the best way to go but really honing in on the problems as we've done, then clearly articulating how to solve those problems, and then getting into the details of the actions you need to take to solve those problems. So I'm gonna use this prompt here. Next, I've said construct a detailed speech outline addressing these problems, following the problem solution action structure, include main points, supporting evidence, and potential calls to action. And now we have this outline where there is a hook, some relevance, and problem one, supporting evidence, solution, call to action, problem two, with the action there, problem three, pretty solid first outline with conclusion. A lot of text here. Ideally, we want a little less text so we're not just reading all of this. There's some information here that we want to make sure is accurate, so we'll get into how to check for that fairly shortly. Back in the cheat sheet, you can see there are a lot of other prompts here for this format. You may want to really focus on all of the problems first, then all of the solutions, and then all the action at the end of the speech. And those could be, you know, another rule of threes of how you work through this. But I want to enhance this a little bit and find some data out there to support this. So let's go into perplexity here and see if we can dig up some data, some research that might help support our argument and help our audience understand their problems and solutions. So I'm dropping in here. Please help me find any research data or studies about how marketing agencies are adopting AI. And if you've never used perplexity before, it is a fantastic way to search the internet. It goes out and searches, it does about 50 different uh, Google searches and pulls in all of that relevant information along with citations. So I think of this as my research intern. Some great stuff here from the Harvard Business Review. A lot of good stuff here. One of the best resources I've been able to find here is the 2024 Work Trend Index Annual Report that was put out in combination with Microsoft and LinkedIn. So I have a PDF of this on my desktop. I'm just going to ask ChatGPT to update the uh, outline with any stats that are relevant from this PDF. So I'm uploading that directly here using the paperclip and saying, please update this outline with stats from the attached PDF. And I'm even going back into perplexity and saying, I got a lot of value out of the attached report. Can you please find similar pieces from 2024? This has pulled in a lot of other great reports, including this AI index report of 2024 from Stanford, a piece here from McKinsey. So you can repeat that same process by attaching any data, any reports that you can find. Maybe it's internal information. You can survey your subject matter experts internally and add all that information into your outline. You can see here it's pulling that data in accurately. I know for a fact this all comes directly from that report. Now we're on to designing our slides. I like to use Canva. I find that to be the most intuitive and uh, least cumbersome of all the slide creators. Unfortunately, I have not found a great AI slide creating tool. It's one of the questions I get more often than any other is what are the best AI creation, uh, slide creation tools. And of the ones that are out there, unfortunately, they all seem to be more trouble than they're worth. They try to do too much. They try to create your entire presentation with images 
images and everything from scratch and it just ends up being too much work to uh, mangle that into something usable than it is to just do things the old-fashioned way canva being very easy to use if you're looking to create images look at mid journey I have some videos about creating images with mid journey that is the best one for any individual images but as far as the slides go manually creating them in uh, canva is what i do if anybody out there has a better uh, way to go please let me know in the comments but here are a bunch of uh, prompts that can help you improve those slides so you can take a screen grab of those and you know work with the large language model on improving those I'm going to just jump back into chat GPT and from this outline ask it to create the copy for the slides and now this is creating some good slide copy for that outline obviously each one of these steps you can iterate through and do a couple rounds with I'm just going fairly quickly so you can get the idea of this I think these are a little bit long I don't know that you want all that text in uh, the slides so I'm gonna tell the large language model that there we go. Now it's creating some fairly concise copy that seems like it would fit pretty well on the slides. Back in the cheat sheet here, I'm gonna use this prompt, suggest visually appealing ways to represent the main points from my outline on each slide using charts, graphs, images, etc. There we go. Now it's adding some visual ideas. And these can be used actually as prompts in mid journey for a lot of these you can just pump these right into mid journey i'm not going to get into that in this video i do have other videos on mid journey if you have questions about that drop it in the comments i'd be happy to answer you any questions you have there but with a little copy and paste you've now got a great outline and you've got some slides here uh, again canva is what i use if you have an assistant you can ask them to do that copy and paste and now it's time to start rehearsing your talk. So I dove in and started practicing my talk way before I thought I was ready. I felt like just getting in there and running through it once would be really helpful. And it turns out that was helpful in a lot of different ways. I recorded my rehearsals in Descript. And let me show you what that looks like. I'm showing you a little bit of behind the scenes, how the sausage is made here at Blazing Zebra. So hopefully we can keep this a judgment-free zone here. I'm a little uh, self-conscious about sharing some of this stuff. So when you record right into Descript or you um, rec record in other technology and pull it into Descript, you get this great transcription here. And this, it turns out, is going to be very, very helpful in a lot of ways because I like to copy and paste this and pull it straight into, this is one of my rehearsals, copy and paste this and pull it straight into Claude. You could probably use ChatGPT for this or Gemini, uh, but I like Claude when I'm dumping in large transcripts for whatever reason, I feel like Claude handles it much better than the others. So I'm dropping that in and this prompt worked really well for me. Please play the role of a disgruntled audience <laughs> member. What would they be saying behind my back about this speech? So I'm gonna copy this back here into Claude and see what my harshest critics might say behind my back. And this will throw some cold water on any excitement you have about your speech, but I think this is the surefire way to improve it. And I don't think all of these are gonna be on the money, but there's a few that will probably will be enlightening. So now I'm asking Claude, which of these are probably the most important to address? So this is interesting. It's kind of talking in first person here, but it is pointing out some ways to address these issues, which is very, very helpful. Here's another prompt I've been using quite a bit. Analyze my speech rehearsal recording and identify areas where my delivery could be improved. So where that last one was looking at just main overall points and structures, this is getting into the actual performance of the talk and how that can be improved, what areas I might be stumbling with or more most unsure of myself. This will help point that out. And this has now pointed out some areas in which my delivery could be improved. And you can keep doing this, practicing your speech, watching it, taking that transcript, putting it into one of the large language models and running these different tests on it. Even taking, you know, multiple transcripts. So if you've done it maybe two or three times, putting those into Claude and saying, these are three different transcripts. Where am I constantly uh, struggling? Where are the most filler words? Where does it seem like these transcripts need the most improvement? 
Now moving into some final rehearsal prompts. So imagining that the audience is either very enthusiastic or noticeably disengaged. How might I adjust my energy level to match their mood and maintain their attention? Mastering pauses, identifying moments where I can pause and add some emphasis to specific points. I was terrible at this. I was just rushing through everything. So finding areas, uh, you know, places where it made sense to just pause, let people digest what you've just said before moving on. If you're memorizing your speech, creating some mnemonic devices, memory aids that can help you memorize different key points or areas of the speech and ways of managing anxiety. Many speeches include Q&A scenarios, and I know mine does, so I wanted to use these prompts to uh, get ready for some of the toughest questions. Folks that really disagreed with me, or maybe I said something that rubbed them the wrong way, make sure that that wasn't catching me off guard, preparing for those worst case scenarios. Another thing I did to prepare for the worst case scenarios, I took all of my slides as I had manipulated them quite a bit after what was generated from AI. I needed an outline of just those slides. So I asked uh, ChatGPT to create an outline of my slides. So then I could just have that and practice with just that outline and no slides, knowing that even if the computer went down, if the screen fell over, I could have those notes on my phone or print it out and refer to those instead still continue and carry through with my presentation. Even if all the tech completely dissolves, I would still be okay. And that gave me the confidence to really deliver a strong speech. And here's what that uh, string looked like. I asked ChatGPT to pull all of the text off of the slides. I didn't know that it could do that. Apparently it can take both PowerPoint and PDF formats, but it prefers the PowerPoint format uh, as that may be a little easier to extract the text. So I gave it the PowerPoint uh, file and it pulled all of the text right off of the PowerPoint file. I was able to drop this into a Google Sheet uh, and even stored it as a note on my phone. So I was prepared for any situation uh, where the technology went down when I was giving the speech. And now you should have a fairly awesome speech ready to go, but we want to take it even one step farther and Steve Jobsify it. So at any one of those steps where you're creating the outline, brainstorming on questions, creating the slides, any of those areas, you can use these prompts to continuously enhance what you're making in a way that Steve Jobs would have been proud of. So simplicity and clarity, making sure you're staying away from any jargon and really speaking to the widest audience possible. Might be helpful to do this uh, really when you're creating the outline as well as in your speech rehearsal as you're getting the LLMs to critique your different rehearsals. Storytelling, same places you can ask it to use this prompt in order to help increase the storytelling, the metaphors, really helps people learn, digest, and stay focused on what you're trying to tell them. Uh, ideas on showmanship and stage presence, we've got this prompt here. Passion and conviction, review my speech for areas where I can express more enthusiasm and conviction, help me infuse words with passion and inspire my audience. Also looking at ways that Steve Jobs might restructure his speech for maximum impact on delivery, focusing on benefits. This is a huge one for any marketing collateral, any marketing messaging, making sure you're not just talking about you know, boring stats, but really unpacking those into why your audience needs to pay attention to those. And I love this one. This came up many times that Steve Jobs was known for his ability to create a reality distortion field around himself and his products. In a way, really just mesmerizing his audience into believing anything he said. So this was a fun one to play with. Review my speech and help me identify areas where I can inspire and persuade the audience with bold, visionary language. Suggest phrases or metaphors to invoke a sense of possibility and make the seemingly impossible feel achievable. I've taken the prompts from both the outline section as well as all the prompts from the Steve Jobs section and I've created two custom GPTs using the process that I've outlined in previous videos. I'll link to the first video in that playlist now. And with those prompts, I've created two custom GPTs. This one, which is the speech outline bot, as well as the Steve Jobsify bot. 
So these are both available in that cheat sheet. I've got a link to these custom GPTs as well as the instructions so you can see under the hood of how I've done this and you can modify these to your own liking. Let me just show you how these work. Starting with the speech outline bot, I'm gonna click let's begin and it walks you through the process. We're gonna start by identifying top three problems that your audience faces and your area of expertise then walk through those focusing on the problem solution and action folks can take after getting that right they it looks for a strong hook introduction section and conclusion including calls to action so i simply said let's proceed and I've entered that my talk is about ways to engage and help your community and the audience are rural folks in Maine. So by sharing that, this bot created three of the problems that that audience faces. And then it dives into a problem solution action format for each of these. And of course, at each step you can tweak and I would encourage you to tweak and improve each step here. But this is just a demo. So I'm going to show you this outline that it created for the three problems. Then it proceeded to generate some ideas for the introduction and the hooks. I selected number three. It created an outline of that hook section and then we look for a through line so making sure that hook is represented throughout the entire outline it adds some uh, ideas for how to make sure that this talk is cohesive and relates to that introductory hook then it generates a bunch of ideas for the conclusion and the different calls to action at the end of the talk i flesh this out with number four and it's given us some inspirational quotes and closing statements there. I've dropped all of this into a Google Doc, which gives us a pretty good starting place. I think with a little tweaking here, this could be a great talk. Now let's select all of this and drop it into our Steve Jobsify bot. So this will take it through some of the things that Steve Jobs was known for and improve the talk on various levels. I've just copied and pasted that entire outline in. And the first step, it looks for confusing words or jargon to make sure that your audience understands what's going on and it generates some ideas of how you might make things more clear. Then number two, maybe the most important part is incorporating storytelling. So it has pulled together some really cool stories from history that might resonate and uh, improve this talk the story of the free little library movement, which I had no idea about. Putting that into this speech, I think would be very powerful. And the story of the Compton Cowboys, which I had no idea was an African-American group of horseback riders who used horseback riding and equestrian culture to provide mentorship and positive outlet for local youth. Both of those very, very appropriate to this talk and could really strengthen it. Then I move on to step three here, making it more engaging and dramatic. It tells you how you can vary your tone and pace, incorporate pauses, where good places for pauses might be, adding humor. Definitely, I think this, this would really work to get some humor. It talks about, you know, the addition of the mute button on Zoom calls. Uh, so very helpful there. Moving on to step four, infusing more enthusiasm and conviction. It gives some ideas for how to do that. Then with step five here, it evaluates it for structure and clarity and flow. Step six puts the focus on the benefits. So really calling out how each of these can benefit your audience, really strengthening that. And step seven here adds inspiring and persuasive visionary language to this talk. So with those seven steps, the Steve Jobsify bot has really improved our general first outline. And again, I have links to both of these. They are only available to my Patreon supporters. Those links are in the cheat sheet. I've also got instructions to those bots in the cheat sheet so you can tweak them and improve upon them and adjust them to your own circumstances. 
So again, I've got all of those prompts in the cheat sheet. There is a bunch more than what we went through and hopefully this will help you create and deliver a impactful speech with confidence, with ease, and maybe even enjoying the process along the way. If you've been getting something out of these videos, I'd really love your help in supporting this mission of helping marketers and entrepreneurs around the world adopt this new AI technology to improve their profitability and their enjoyment of their day-to-day. -day. So consider checking out the Patreon options there. We've got the cheat sheets. We've got some really fun group coaching calls happening every Tuesday at 2 p.m. Eastern. You can join and pop in, ask me questions live, learn. I always learn a ton from those calls. I've also got some one-on-one -on -one coaching options, so check all of that stuff out. And please, if you got all the way through here, give me a like, shoot me a comment, let me know if you're confused about anything, if there's something you want me to dive deeper into. So far, I've been able to respond to all of the comments I'm getting, so uh, hopefully I can help you in that same manner. And um, yeah, if you haven't subscribed already, please do so and I will see you on the next video. Thanks a ton for watching. Make your dreams come true.